Well, good morning to you. I'm meteorologist Caroline Carithers with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with your tropical update on this Wednesday morning, September 13th. So it is the peak week of hurricane season here. The statistical peak is actually September 10th, which is already passed, but this week is kind of the peak here, and we have several areas we're tracking. Of course, we have Hurricane Lee, we have Hurricane Margot, and we have a tropical wave that we're tracking that's moving towards the central Atlantic. So let's start with Lee here. Lee is still a major, impressive category Glory 3 hurricane. Max winds at 115 miles per hour. It's moving to the north northwest around 9 miles per hour. So it's starting to make that curve to the north, which was forecast and is expected. Now, as it moves towards Bermuda, moving towards Friday in the end of the week, it'll really encounter a little bit more wind shear. It will also be moving over cooler waters thanks to the churned up Atlantic where Franklin and Adalia moved through the same area. It kind of brought up the cooler waters from the bottom of the Atlantic to the top, cooled things down just a little bit, even though the Atlantic as a whole is pretty warm. It's going to be move, moving over the specific area that's churned up. So that'll help it weaken as well as it moves towards Bermuda. By the time we get to this weekend, we've seen wobbles in the track here, but parts of northern New England still in this track here. So likely tropical storm force conditions possible for parts of Massachusetts and into Rhode Island and into Maine as well, and parts of Canada, the Maritime Providence provinces there like Nova Scotia. So that's kind of what we're expecting with Hurricane Lee. As far as the rest of the East Coast, just going to see some rough surf. Our stretch of the Gulf Coast, not going to see any impact from this. Further out in the Atlantic, we have Hurricane Margo, still Category 1 hurricane. It's just going to kind of do its own little spin in the Atlantic. This is what we call a fish storm. It's no threat to land. It's just going to eventually die out there in the Atlantic. We also have another tropical wave that we're tracking off the coast of Africa. This has a high chance for development at this point. Moving into this weekend, a tropical depression or storm is likely to form. We'll keep an eye on it, but no current threats to our stretch of the Gulf Coast. Now, if you ever have any questions, you want the latest information, you can head to WKRG.com, click on our hurricane map room. That's always open. It's always updated. It has everything you need to know.